Hi, and welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. Well, Walmart has come out with a new 4K streaming device that they think is going to be quite competitive with the Amazon Fire Stick 4K or the Chromecast with Google TV. The price is $29. We're going to take it out of the box, show you what's inside, compare the specs and the performance versus the Amazon 4K Fire Stick, as well as the Chromecast with Google TV. It beats them both on price, but how does it perform? I can't wait. Can you? If you're ready to see how Walmart's on UHD streaming device stacks up against the Amazon 4K Fire Stick, I'm going to show you. But before I do, if you like what I do here at Cord Cutters LI, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Are you ready to see how these stack up? Let's go! All right, so here we are. We're going to take a closer look at the on UHD streaming device from Walmart. So let's open it up. I have not peeked yet. I did cheat a little bit and uh, just peeled the tape so I wouldn't have to make you watch me do that on screen. So we'll open it up. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Okay, so it has some weight to it. Let's see, we have a power button up here, an input button, um, volume controls, mute button. So that me leads me to believe that it has an infrared remote to control your TV. Your regular circle pad here with the select button in the middle. Looks like a bookmarks or favorites button here. I'll be curious to see what that does. Settings button, the return button, home button. Again, I'm not sure what these are. Probably some kind of scroll. That'd be interesting to see. And when, then we have four quick action buttons for YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, and HBO Max. I don't have all of these apps. I have a couple of them. Obviously, we have YouTube and I do have Netflix. Don't have these two. Maybe we can use the Remapper app to reprogram these buttons to do something else. So I'll put that over there. See what else is in the box. It does come with an HDMI cable. Looks like probably a three foot HDMI cable. So that's okay. Wow, this is it. This is a lot smaller than I thought. The top side here, HDMI on one side. Micro USB here. Uh, I was hoping they would have come out with a USB-C uh, connection, but still with the micro USB. Maybe a, a, a power button or possibly uh, the sync button for the remote. So it doesn't have a lot of weight to it. It feels somewhat light. I kind of expected it to be a little bit bigger, and I'm not sure how I feel about the connection being on the opposite side, HDMI on one side and the power on the other. Um, that leads me to believe that it might not be the prettiest to sit on top of a, a wall unit, you know, where your TV is, but uh, we won't judge quite yet. And then we have a power adapter, five volt probably, for the micro USB. So that connects there. So, yeah, so what I'm envisioning here is to have this sitting on top of the TV. So we're going to have to deal with that um, not being all that pretty. But it's $29. I'm trying not to judge. So that's it. That's the Walmart on UHD streaming device out of the box. When I come back, I'll have it connected and show you what I think. All right, so now that you've had a chance to see what's in the box for the on UHD streaming device from Walmart, before I continue, I wanna tell you what's in the rest of this video or what's not in this video. For the rest of this video, I'm gonna be concentrating on the fact that this is a $29 4K streaming device. So I'm not gonna be comparing this to, you know, the 150 or $200 uh, Nvidia Shield or any of the other $100 plus Android TV boxes because this just isn't that. It's a device that competes perhaps with the Chromecast with Google TV. It might compare with the Fire TV Stick 4K, or it might compare with the TiVo Stream 4K. So what I'm going to show you today is how they compare for streaming TV. This is the Cord Cutters LI channel, and I'm not really geared towards the whole gaming scene here. We're looking to save money on our cable bill, and we're going to see if this device from Walmart 
is a competitor for these other devices that we spend $29, $39, or $50 on. So I'm going to connect it now and we'll take a look at it up close and personal. All right, so here we are all connected with the on Android TV UHD streaming device from Walmart. For all you Fire Stick users out there, the interface is much different. This is very much the same as the Chromecast with Google TV or the TiVo Stream 4K Android TV streaming devices. You have your favorites bar up here at the top and you can scroll up and down and all of these different uh, rows can be changed and moved around up and down as you want to. Um, one thing that's a little different than, for example, the TiVo Stream 4K, you have a couple of apps that are locked on this bar, like uh, on the TiVo. You'll have a TiVo app that's on this bar right here to the left and you can't move it. Um, here, all of the favorites can be fully customizable. So like if I wanted to move this TV made app over to the right, you could just hold in the menu button, go down to move, select and drop it wherever you'd want. Um, and then you can also add other apps to your favorites as well, or move them. You can have, um, you know, one, two or three if you want to or whatever. On the Chromecast with Google TV, it's a little strange. When you add, I believe it's six apps to the bar, you can no longer reduce that lower than six apps. You have to put six apps on there. Here, you can just have two or three. If you just use two or three apps, you can just have those two or three apps on your favorites, and then the rest uh, will, will be in the other section where you go to all of your other apps. But, you know, it's just a personal preference thing. A couple of other things that I like about this, if you look close at that gear button, that is something that I wish Fire Sticks had. You just hit this gear and it automatically goes into your settings. And that's pretty cool because to get to the settings on even a different type of Android TV box or to get to the settings on a Fire Stick, as you know, it's several clicks uh, to get to it. There's no quick and easy way to get to the settings with just one push of the button. So what I'm here to do today is take a look and see how this device streams uh, TV and movies and things uh, that we'd want to watch. These are the apps I'm talking about. Um, some third-party apps, maybe some Prime Video, uh, Netflix, YouTube, the K-Word, and TV Mate for live TV. So I'm going to probably have to blur a lot of this, but I'm going to just briefly bring you into this app, and we'll just change from channel to channel and see what kind of buffering at all I will have going from channel to channel and really I have to say I have virtually none um, you will see a little bit of buffering on the TiVo stream 4k and from time to time on certain fire sticks especially the non 4k version of the fire stick you will get a brief blue circle going around as you may have heard me say I call that the circle of pain but here we're moving from channel to channel pretty pretty reliably, and that's uh, that's a thumbs up in my book. So for live TV, I will rate this just as good as the Chromecast with Google TV, perhaps a little better than the TiVo Stream 4K, and maybe even a little bit better than the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. I'll save this one for later. Let's go into YouTube and play something here. It's a 4K stream. Looks like this is working just fine. I'll turn on what they call Stats for Nerds. And you can see that we have zero dropped frames. Uh, the stream is 4K. I'm, I'm only viewing this on a 1080p TV. But it's uh, the source is a 4K stream, and we're not dropping any packets at all. It seems to be playing just fine. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, I've seen uh, the Chromecast with Google TV, 4K Fire Stick, and TiVo Stream 4K uh, play all these videos pretty much the same, so I don't see much of a difference here. Next thing, let's go ahead and check Netflix, see how fast it loads. And we'll open up a video there. Okay, so it's a little on the slow side. Get a little bit of an hourglass going on here. We'll just pick something at random. I'm going to probably have to blur it. Okay. 
but once you get there it uh, does appear to be playing okay I'll stop it there we don't want to break any rules with YouTube but just in general scrolling around the Netflix interface it's moving along pretty quick pretty responsive so overall this is perfectly good streaming box next we'll check out a prime video Amazon Prime opens up pretty quickly I would say this is pretty comparable to the other devices the Google TV the TiVo or the Fire Stick uh, let's just go ahead and pick one of these at random and we'll let it play short hourglass at the beginning we'll skip the intro advertisement and yeah this is streaming just fine as well all right so far we've tested out a number of these streaming applications and they all seem to work very well on this 29 dollars 4k streaming device let's go ahead and open up one of these third-party apps so we'll pick a movie at random these large 4k streams might be a little too much to handle so i'm going to go down to something a little smaller and let's find a different stream here give it a good fighting chance okay this looks good nice and small 4k some buffering at the beginning but not too bad and the movie starts to play all right so that's a third-party app and last but not least let's go into this app let's pick a TV show this time to change things up so this is a little sluggish inside the K app for my liking we'll just go ahead and pick a somewhat random but recent show yeah so I'm getting a little bit longer of an hourglass than I think I would get on the 4K Fire Stick or the uh, the Chromecast with the Google TV for that matter. This is probably very similar to the TiVo Stream 4K in my opinion. So we'll pick the last episode of the last season. So something rather small. TV show is going to be 1080p. That's fine. See how this works. Bit of an hourglass at the beginning, but the TV show seems to be working just fine. And I'll stop it right there. And we'll go back to the home page. So there you have it. I think that the on Android TV UHD streaming device from Walmart does a pretty good job for $29. So there's a decent look at the on Android TV UHD streaming device from Walmart. If you want to pick up one of these, I don't think that they're really readily available on the walmart.com website, but if you go to a local Walmart and, you know, let's face it, they're everywhere, uh, chances are that they will have one in stock. You can you go ahead and buy it and bring it home and give it a shot. So I haven't yet decided if I'm going to return this or put it in one of the kids' rooms or not. But um, I think it's a pretty good device for $29. Definitely worth taking a look at. It really comes down to personal preference, whether you like the Android TV interface or if you like the Amazon Fire TV interface. If you've been using the Amazon Fire TV sticks for a long time, you might have a little bit of a hard time transitioning to the Android TV interface. If you pick up one of these 4K streaming devices from Walmart and you give it a try, come back and let me know in the comments below the video. I'd really like to hear what you think about it. If you enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos when they come out for Cord Cutters Our Life, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.